earlier, which I mean, I'm sure you don't get this often at all, but how's Marcia? You're doing well. <laughs> I don't think she plays tennis. But no? She, but she looks good nonetheless. But tennis is, is a little bit special in that sense that you can do it by yourself. You know, you're either on the court by yourself or you can do it in a group or... Um, but that's why it's so great that First Break does this because tennis is a um, way to give back, especially through tennis. And obviously I'm in the tennis business. So um, being able to give back through the way that, you know, through your means of production is really... Uh, it's really satisfying and rewarding, and I really enjoy it. Collins, NBA showed up today. Yeah. What's yeah. up? I love the sport of tennis, and I love, you know, giving back to the community. So this is, you know, two things that, you know, coincide, and it's just great to be here playing with some really amateurs. Really multi-sport yes. platforms. Yes. So how do you think, for instance, basketball, tennis, all of them cross over to helping kids develop? Well, I, I think that kids uh, should play as many sports as possible growing up. I played... Every... Well, I'll leave it up to the pros. We've got so many great pros here and so many great champions and legends. And and so I'll, I'll definitely try and hop on maybe with the little kids. And, yeah. you know, the older you get, the, the, the younger the kids are that you play with, because that's about what I can manage. But I'll just <laughs> and, try and, and just and meet everybody as much as I can. Well, I'm sure the kids and everybody would love some coaching from you. Can you actually list some of the players that you've oh. coached on tour? Um, well, current I'm working with mainly the pros on the West Coast, uh, share responsibilities with Paul Anika and coaching Taylor Fritz mainly, and then as far as being involved with all the pros in, in that are at our Senate, Sam Query and Steve Johnson, Nesco Scabetta, Jared Donald. Driver, how are you doing today, Pam? I'm good. I've played my favorite lifetime sport. I've been around some friends who I've known since I was a little kid in tennis. I, there are children out here playing, and it's for a great cause, First Break Academy. In 10 years, I'd like to see there be 10, 20 first breaks around the country that are situated in communities like Carson that can really benefit. In regards to you, you know, tennis legend to tennis broadcast on ESPN, what's the biggest difference for you between being on the court and being off the court? Well, the biggest difference is uh, I find talking about it and that I can watch without being in the heart of it, it's much easier. I wish I had the ability to know the presence and the um, sort of the uh, clarity of thought while, as I do in the broadcast booth. What brings you out here to the LA Tennis Bash for First Break? Well, First Break's a, gr a great program, first of all. Anything that gets kids on the court and have an opportunity to play some tennis, do something a little bit different, be athletic, uh, it's fantastic. Player I think. to a coach, what's the biggest difference for you? Uh, the biggest difference is the, the focus is no longer on me so much as as the player. So when it was when you're the player, especially playing professionally, it's 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 all about you. You have to be very selfish with your time, time on the court, how much time off the court, all those things. And as the coach, you have to take a step back and make it all about the player. So it's you know the egos have to be thrown out the door. Um, and it, it's it's definitely different. You know, to now be in this opportunity to give back and to see these kids, how much tennis means to them, how much they enjoy the sport, how much you know fun they can have, and how much growth they can have in this game is uh, is really the most rewarding. And just to see their growth over the years is really is really some of the most fun things to see. Yeah, on the court. Any kids giving you a run for your money? Oh, they're all giving me a run for my money. You know, they come out here fired up, ready to go, and you know, you, we're always going to get their best out here. And um, just fun to see everybody having a great time. You know, tennis has given so much to me. Uh, so it's it's you know, as a kid, you know, playing other sports. So uh, I love the fact that they try and do that to get kids uh, maybe more hand-eye coordination, more athleticism involved. So it, it's a great part. You know, I think uh, sport can teach you a lot about life. I was just going to ask you that because you obviously have a lot of perspective on that since playing sports, playing tennis. What perspective on life did it give you? Uh, it's it's really important, you know. I think sometimes we lose that perspective as uh, where we get to now as being a professional, but. Um, you know, this is a, a sport. This is a game. You know, I feel very blessed to do this as a living, and, and hopefully, I get to take it for as long as possible and, and see where this world takes me. So, um, I like to, you know, put things in pers perspective almost every day, just uh, to know when you know when you're having a tough day on the tennis court. You know, life is still pretty good. You know, you got a, you know friends and family and everybody. It's a, it's a really cool um, feature of first break that they train at the same place that um, the pros do. I remember, you know, being a young kid growing up and and wanting to watch the older kids play. So, I think uh, the fact that we're right across the street is an awesome asset for first been through a lot obviously like in the last year or so right and how has that like kind of impacted you in regards to doing stuff like this you know yeah i think it's always been really important um for me the idea of giving back but i think that's probably after everything this year um you realize your your time on this earth is finite and um you know the more positive impact you can leave the better Kelly jones i'm a usta national coach 
working at the National Training Center in Carson, California. And I'm Richard Gallion. I'm the head coach at Cal State LA and assistant athletic director. Hey guys, have you been having fun out here today at the LA Tennis Bash? Great event. I mean, everybody's having fun, and that's what this is about. Uh, you know, it's a it's a charity event. Um, the people that are here, the pros that are putting in the time, and everybody has sort of the same thing in common. Uh, we are we are here for the kids. Absolutely. So I've been involved with First, first Break with Rick Bukta for a while, and uh, it's a phenomenal program. And I'm, I'm going to um, brag a little bit. I was on the very first NJTL team ever in 1972. That's how I started in tennis. Ouch. So this program <laughs> is very dear to me, and... Um, the opportunities that are going to grow from players like Stevie Johnson, Nicole Gibbs, I mean, and coaches too. You guys are getting some coaching that people dream of getting yeah. out here on the court. It feels exciting because you get to learn how they you guys play. Love it? Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what do you guys love about first break? Just the environment. The people around you are so like. It's just it make it fun to be here all the time. Very successful yeah, event. Thank you for coming. It was a great time. Good turnout. Raised a lot of money. What? How was the event today? The event was amazing. The entire uh, feeling of community coming together for the kids. It just warms my heart. I'm thrilled. Thank you. Thank you. It was a very successful yeah. day. Woo! You should be proud. Everyone had fun. Yes, everyone did. Well, cheers to another successful L.A. tennis match. We'll see you guys next year. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. you weren't here? <laughs> Don't be square next year. <laughs>